All right, so today we're gonna to be making an apple galette to pair with our old fashioned. I really like the apple with the old fashioned um, and especially the cinnamon of the galette is gonna pair really nicely with the whiskey um, and they're gonna be a perfect combination. I have our flour and butter here and I'm gonna use a pastry cutter to work the butter into the flour. So we're about halfway into fully incorporating the butter. I'm just gonna add about a tablespoon of sugar since this is a dessert, just to sweeten up the crust a bit. And you can kind of run the flour butter mixture through your hands to get little, little flakes of butter, and that's gonna make sure that the crust is super flaky, crispy, yummy, that perfect texture that we want for our galette. Now that this is prepped, we're gonna get started adding our ice water to bring the dough together. So slowly, as you add the water, the dough is gonna come together. So just be patient. You can see that it's already starting to come together. We'll add a little bit more water. I'm gonna use a spatula to start, but then you can just feel free to get your hands dirty and dive right in. So it's coming together now. I'm gonna just dump it onto our clean work surface and finish bringing the dough fully together. And you can actually see in the dough um, the flakes of butter, and that's exactly what you want. I've patted my dough ball into a disc and we're just gonna wrap it up and stick this in the fridge to chill. There we go. So now we're gonna get started prepping our apples. We're of course making an apple galette. So we're gonna get to slicing our apples and then mixing with some cinnamon and sugar and that'll be our filling. We're gonna cut our apples in about an eighth to a quarter of an inch um, wide slices. You don't want it too thin because then they're gonna get super shriveled up and dried in the oven. You still want them to maintain the really pretty slice. I've also made the galette with anything from pear to stone fruit works really well with this. So peaches, apricots, plums, it's really up to you. So whatever you're kind of in the mood for, you can mix and match. So to our apples, we're gonna add some cinnamon along with a little bit of granulated sugar and a little bit of brown sugar. All right, and then you can just kind of use your hands to fully coat the apples. And as the apples cook in the oven, they're gonna get a little bit sweeter too. So you really don't need to go overboard with the sugars here. All right, so our apples are prepped. So we're gonna grab our dough from the fridge now. It's chilled and then we'll get ready to assembling our galette. I'm gonna sprinkle some flour over our dough. We definitely don't want it sticking to our counter. And another thing I really like about galettes is you don't need to be super precise when rolling it out. You don't need to get like a perfect circle as long as the kind of thickness is consistent. Next is perhaps the most important part of the recipe. Before we start assembling our apples on top, we wanna transfer our dough to our prepared baking sheet. Instead of trying to lift it up and put it onto the baking sheet, you're gonna use your rolling pin to your advantage and kind of roll up the dough just transfer it like that. Okay, so now for the fun creative part, we're gonna get to arranging our apples on top of our dough. Starting from about an inch and a half in from the crust, we're gonna start laying our apples. So we're just gonna fold it over. As you make your way around, you'll have to do kind of a little fold um, and you don't need to really think too much about it. It'll kind of just create the crease by itself, but we'll just make our way around the galette and you'll see this really nice shape start to kind of come together just naturally. So I went ahead and browned a half stick of butter here and we're gonna just go ahead and brush it carefully over the apples. All right, the final step before we're ready to go in the oven is we're just gonna make a quick egg wash and then I'm just gonna add a splash of water to this and we'll whisk it up and that's all you need for your egg wash. And you really wanna make sure that you do a thorough job of covering all of the edges because this will make sure that the crust is that really even golden brown. Just cause, let's sprinkle a little bit more brown sugar. Our galette is ready to go in the oven. This will bake for about 45 minutes at 375. 